going near them. I don't think I can get past them. It's a striking yellow color. I don't think these dogs are vegetarians.
important notice. These dogs are not dead. They are only sleeping. No animals were harmed during the production of this game. They're sleeping peacefully. A priceless Ming. This looks like a job for Fester's shine top. Eh, better leave this here. The red button. It's a big, ugly, hairy yak wearing some wax lips. I can't move it. I can't move it. I'll need this. I must be nuts. Hack! Gophers! Beautiful. I can't open it. Uh oh. That should hold him for a while. If only I had a file, I could get the idol. No time for reading now. Hey, where'd you go? I hike halfway across the island to try and get you a reservation with the Swordmaster, who, by the way, says you can go jump in the lake. And when I come back, whew, you're gone. See if I ever do you a favor again, ungrateful little shoplifter. What do you want? 
I could really use a breath mint. Huh, you're telling me. Here, take one. Please, take the whole roll. That'll be one piece of eight. What else do you want? Do you have files? Did you mean hanging files or nail files? Yes. Ah, sorry, fresh out of those. What else do you want? I think I'd just like to browse. Okay. Wake me up if you need anything. A priceless Ming. That doesn't seem to work. What do you think this is, a museum? If you're thinking about stealing something, we only think take again. cash here. That's refreshing. Oh, Grago Mint. How refreshing. Thanks. So, have you come to release me? Who are you? My name is Ores. At least I think it is. I've been in here so long, I can hardly remember. You gotta get me out of here before I lose my mind completely! Can't you see? I'm innocent! But why are you in jail if you're innocent? I was framed! I didn't touch the stupid flowers! What flowers? The jello conish in dormi flowers in the forest. It's against the law to pick them. So, uh, how's the food in there? Oh, you know, the usual. Slaw, grog, gruel, rats, bugs, and body lice if I can catch them. I have a carrot cake my Aunt Tilly made, even though she knows I detest carrot cake. Actually, the cook at the bar is an old friend of mine, and sometimes he sneaks me food, like pork trimmings, mostly feet and lips, but once in a while, he brings this really odd rump roast. What was so odd about the rump roast? Well, it's the only rump roast I ever seen with a prehensile tail. So who'd want to frame you? I don't know who exactly. I think it was a conspiracy. And if there's one type of piracy I don't like, it's Cole's piracy. Would you happen to have a file? You think I'd be in here if I did? All I have is this carrot cake my Aunt Tilly made me. You can have that if you bring me something to get rid of these rats. I can't stand carrot cake.
Hey, this might work on the rats. Thanks. Here's the cake. I better not wear it out before I get the idol. I locked the sheriff in there. I've got the file. That was a close one. At least I got the idol. But I'm not done with you yet. Uh-oh. Thought you could get out of here with the idol of many hands, did you? Look, I can explain. So can I. You poisoned the governor's pet poodles. They're just sleeping. Broke into her house. The door was unlocked. And stole one of her most valuable pieces of art. No, you've got it all wrong. Oh, really? Well, let's hear your explanation. It belongs in a museum. Ta! What's going on here? I caught this hoodlum making off with your idol, Governor. He says it belongs in a museum. That's right, it does. What? You heard me, Festa. The real question is, how did he get in here while you were on guard? I, uh... Oh, just go away, Festa. I can handle this. Hmm. I'll deal with you later. Sorry about him. He's new. I'm Governor Marley. Governor Elaine Marley. So my idol belongs in a museum, eh? Gee! Relax, Mr. Threepwood. I know why you're here. Believe me, you're not the first who's tried. Although I have to admit, not many get as far as you have. Um... My lookout told me of your arrival. I've wanted to meet you ever since I heard your fascinating name. Tell me, Guybrush, why do you want to be a pirate? You don't look like one. Your face is too... sweet. Girl... I see. Well... You're obviously not in the mood for idle chit-chat, are you? I suppose you've got many more exciting things to do? I won't take up any more of your time, Mr. Threepwood. Boo! 
Listen, Kev. I'm going to I really wish I knew how to talk to women. Where do you think you're going, Throom Wade? You know, it's not too late for us to make up and be friends. Yeah. And it's also not too late for me to kill you and still make it to the bar for happy hour. Uh-oh. This is the end of the road, my little pantalooned pal. Your troublemaking days on Melee Island are over. My plans for the governor are far too important and much too near completion to risk letting a would-be pirate like you get in the way. So long, Mr. Spice Cake or Droop Face or whatever your name is. Hmm. This might actually turn out to be a pretty good day. Actually, it's more like a fabulous doorstop. Sharp and dangerous. I can't reach that from here. Very sharp. I can't reach that from here. Looks sharp. Rusty, but sharp. That wasn't so hard. Now all I have to do is show this stupid idol to the pirate leaders and... You're alive! Governor! Hey, you can talk. <laughs> Who'd have known? What are you doing here? Come to finish the job? No, I came down here to save your life. Fester wasn't acting on my orders when he threw you in there. Uh, you came down here to rescue me? I, I didn't even think you liked me. Well, our first meeting was a little awkward. You seemed to have trouble forming complete sentences. But then again, so do most of my citizens. But I'm not one of your citizens. I'm just a drifter. A nobody. A would-be pirate. Who would have known or even cared if you'd let me drown? I would have, Guybrush. Oh, Governor. Oh, Threepwood. Oh, Elaine. Oh, Guybrush. Love Muffin. Sugar Boots. Honey Pumpkin. Plunder Bunny. Kiss me. No, we mustn't. What? Not here, where everyone can see us. Why, are you ashamed of me? No, no, it's not that at all. It's just that many of these pirates have made advances towards me. And to avoid hurting their feelings, I've always told them that my father made me promise never to fall in love with a pirate. If they see us together, they'll know I was lying. Okay then, let's go to your place. Okay. But finish your trials first. I don't want you to be... Preoccupied. But... I feel this sudden urge to complete the trials. Quickly.